What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to create multiple states using motion matching. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so before we get started, I just want to quickly mention that I have already made a precise 10 minute tutorial on how to get started with motion matching. And it's actually this project over here. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. I will be linking it in the description. So in that video, we basically created our database, right? Where we have all of our main locomotion animations and we basically went ahead and integrated to the character to get this really cool result. So in this video, what I am going to basically show is how to create another state, in this case, crouching, right? And we can go ahead and transition from our normal locomotion to crouching, you know, with uh, motion matching. So the approach that we're going to be taking is creating another database and basically transitioning from that database in an animation blueprint state to another one. OK, so let's get started by going ahead and creating the database. So in this case, I'm going to right click, go into animation and let's go into motion matching. Now, very important, make sure that you have the um, plugins enabled. So this will basically be the motion trajectory and the post search um plugins okay so make sure to have them enabled all right so once again let's go back into animation go to motion matching and let's go ahead and create a post search database so let's select here our system schema which we built in the other tutorial right and let's go ahead and name this psd underscore motion matching and then just crouching for example right good as you can see it is completely empty so also in the other tutorial, what we did was import some cool locomotion animations from Lyra. And of course, on the heroes, mannequin, animations, locomotion, this also include some crouched animations. OK, so these are going to be the ones that we're going to be using. All right. So we're going to be using Neo walk in all directions and so on. So in here, what I can do is press uh, control space to open this up, uh, press, you know, search for crouch. And then we're going to go ahead and just search for, uh, I guess, just walk, right? So we have walk, backwards, forwards, and start, and so on. Now, first of all, we need to make sure that these have root motion on. And I believe that in the previous episode, we did that. But let's right click, okay? Go to Asset um, Actions and click on Edit Selection in Property Matrix, right? Yes, I want to load them. And yes, they have root motion all. If not, you can just disable it, enable it again, and then save, okay? The same with force uh, root lock, okay? So they don't move around. Cool. We already said that in the previous episode, so that's cool. So now the only thing needed to do is drag this walk uh, animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in the walk forward. Um, we are not gonna be using the pivot, but we're gonna be using the forward um, and then also uh, start and stop, right? To get a smooth movement on that. I'm gonna go ahead and get a backwards. So we got the backwards. Uh, the pivot we will not use that and then start and stop we will use that okay then uh we need also left right so again left yes uh, the pivot will not use it but start and stop yes and then you know right we will go ahead and use right not the pivot right and then start and stop yes cool and with that said we just need the idle animation so you just drag it in and now if I go ahead and select all of them, you can see motion matching happening in all of the directions, which is pretty cool. Of course, with our schema uh, selected, which we created in the other tutorial. Good. So let's go ahead and save, close, and that's it. So just to quickly go ahead and test this new database that we have built, we can go and open up our animation blueprint, go and select our database and select the crouching one. Yeah, just to go ahead and test it out. As you can see now, we are basically going ahead and using the crouching database, uh, which is really cool. So the only thing that we need to do is transition between these two databases, depending if we are crouching or not. So let's go ahead and put this back to be our default locomotion and let's create some states. So this is as simple as just creating states in our animation graph. I've already made multiple bit, uh, videos and tutorials on that. So if you want to check them out, go ahead and more in depth. But overall, we need to go ahead and create a thing called a state machine. So this will basically be the locomotion, right? And inside of this, we will have all of our states. So let's double click and let's add in our first state, 
which will be the normal locomotion, right? So we can put like uh, unarmed or whatever you prefer. Um, in my case, I'm gonna just put locomotion, right? Uh, basic locomotion, okay? And then we'll go ahead and right click, create another state, and this will be the crouched locomotion, okay? And this will basically contain the two different databases. So let's go back to the um, main and end graph. Let's plug this into the post history. So the post history node can stay on here because it will apply to both um, databases. But this one, of course, will depend. So let's Ctrl X this to cut it. Go to locomotion. And for basic, I would just go and paste it and plug it in. And of course, it has the emotion matching one. And then for crouched, I'm also going to go ahead and just paste it in. Plug it in, but of course, change it to be the crouched one. Okay, so now they have their own individual um, database in each state. So now we just need to create the transitions. So for this, let's drag in an arrow to here and then an arrow from here to here. And then we can simply create a new Boolean, right? Which will be true or false. And it'll be like, is uh, crouching, right? So with that said, from basic locomotion to crouched, okay, we're gonna double click on this. Um, transition and just plug in is crouching right so if it's true it will transition and then for the other one from uh, crouch to basic it will basically be the opposite right so uh, not boolean right so let's go ahead and just put this over here and there we go so now we are actually good to go we have this state machine with two states one basic locomotion with the database of basic locomotion and another one of crouched locomotion with the database of crouched locomotion with the transitions right and they don't have their database so we can go ahead and transition between those now of course in order to transition we need to basically turn on and off this boolean so if i now were to press play we are in the normal locomotion but if i were to go and enable this um boolean now i am basically in the crash locomotion right so with a key we need to enable and disable this uh, boolean so by default let's make sure that is disabled and now i am going to go into the third person character blueprint in there i'm gonna just simply right click and add a um left control um down right oh this is not uh left shift sorry not control left shift there we go I'm not in Mac, <laughs> I'm in Windows. And then what I'm going to do is create another variable, which will be uh, crouched. And I am going to set this to true over here and set it to false when I stop pressing shift. Okay, so then I can simply go to the motion matching animation blueprint, go to the event graph. And then here we are basically accessing that blueprint. So I can also go ahead and access the... Um, the boolean right so we save this in a variable so in the update on every frame we are also going to get the is crouching variable and set it to be a value what value will the one in our uh, blueprint right that we are setting here so we can just get the crouched variable that we created uh, i don't think it's this one is actually just named crouched so it's actually this one okay the one at the bottom get crouched and plug it in and that's it okay so when this variable will update we will update also the one in the animation blueprint because this is listening in the update right so now if i press play i'm in the normal locomotion but if i press shift i go ahead and go into the other crash locomotion and then i can go ahead and go back and of course we can play around with the transitions right and the speeds and all that stuff throughout the transitions right so for example, instead of 0.2, we can put 0.3 to make it a bit more, you know, longer. And you can basically, you know, play with that to get a smoother look. I think this looks pretty cool. So you can play around with that. So that's it guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it. You can like the video and subscribe to my channel. We normally have full access to the private files through Patreon or YouTube members, so link in the description. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all I said, bye bye.